Good evening to everyone. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful night. Uh, I am so happy to see everyone here together. Thank you for joining us. I would like to begin by calling on Reverend Whitney Edwards for the invocation. Reverend Edwards. I would be honored. Thank you so much, Coach O'Farrell. This is a brief reading from the book of Isaiah. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Let us pray. God of all good things, we gather in gratitude for the many gifts of this life, particularly for the gift of athletics, one of the finest teachers we have ever known. Thank you for the ways you have used athletics to grow the young men we honor tonight. Whether in sports or in life, they carry within them confidence, honor, strength, leadership, and a commitment to every team upon which they will serve. Thank you for this school for which they have played so very hard. Thank you for the unbreakable ties that bind them in friendship and in their teams and with their coaches. And thank you for their families, their greatest fans and supporters. Pour your blessings upon this evening and especially these young saints as they move into another season. In life as in athletics, grant them the faith that they may, as the scriptures say, run the race you have set before them. All this we pray in your blessed name. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Whitney. Mr. Leckie, would you mind uh, leading this celebration with a few remarks for the boys? I'd be honored to. Thank you, Mr. O'Farrell, and greetings. Good evening, everyone. It is really great to see you. Obviously, this is not the former fashion any of us had dreamed of or hoped for, but it's the fashion we have, and it's important for us to come together and to honor these young men and their families before we officially mark them as alumni, which we look forward to doing in just a, sh a, a few short days. Uh, gentlemen, seniors, I just wanted you all to hear from me loud and clear how proud we are of you in so many ways. Tonight is a night, of course, we focus on athletics. And I want you all to know that when we look back and we think of this class, the class of 2020, your legacy is strong. In many ways, it is historic and even unparalleled. And that's true, yes, when we think about the wins and losses and the championships and the performances and the epic victories. But even more importantly, gentlemen, it's true when we think about the team, the team spirit, the sense of brotherhood, fraternity, and camaraderie. And simply put, gentlemen, what you all did this school year uh, as it pertains to school spirit is nothing short of remarkable. And it's something that we'll be grateful for for years and years to come. So for me, to all of you, thank you, bless you, and I look forward to celebrating you with you this evening and the days ahead. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Lackey. <clears throat> I'd like to start with, uh, with some quick logistics and then a few thank yous. Uh, first for the logistics, I, I have everyone, everyone muted currently, just so we don't pick up any background noise, like I said earlier. Uh, however, as awards are announced, uh, please feel free to unmute yourself. Uh, applaud and, and cheer for your classmates. I know they will appreciate it. Uh, then we will mute the entire group when it's time to move on to the next award. Uh, now for the thank yous. First, thanks to the Parents Association and Christy Filer for all their help in running and organizing concessions again this year and for always making sure no child goes unfed. To the SID program, who would have thought six years ago when we first started the sports information department with only 14 young men, we'd be 28 strong in 2020 and have our own YouTube channel. Thank you to Stephen Lewis and the team for helping to enhance the athletic program by bringing our sporting events to the Saints community near and far. Uh, it takes a large group effort to stream games, provide the public address and color commentary, take photos, keep team pages up to date, and write team articles. This is a busy, busy place to be sure. 
We look forward to watching and listening to next year's SID leader, Aubrey Bowles. Congratulations, SID team. To the coaches and athletic department, a simple thank you doesn't seem enough. You work tirelessly all year, in season, out of season, holidays, weekends, <clears throat> summer. You make connections with the boys in the classroom and on the field and truly set the bar for what it means to be a teacher coach. Most importantly, you take the time to help the athletes connect what we do with why we do it. It is amazing to see the commitment you have towards making this group of young men and our athletic program the best it can be. You are an inspirational and caring group, and we all thank you. Will you all please join me in thanking our coaches? Thank you, coaches. There you go, coaches. Coaches, yes. Awesome job. And to the parents, if I had to guess, you are working through plenty of conflicting emotions, emotions that most senior parents go through this time of year, excitement, relief, and pride, but also some sadness. And I'm betting there's plenty of exhaustion out there as well understandable. The support and encouragement from all of our parents never goes unnoticed and is always appreciated. Thank you for allowing us the honor of working with your sons. Athletes and coaches, please join me in thanking the parents for all they have done this year. Thank you. Thank you. We had a host of spectacular performances, both team and individual. We finished the year with six of seven prep league championship teams, two state championship teams with four other teams making it to the championship game, 51 all-conference athletes, 66 all-state, 25 all-metro, and eight all Americans. We had three weekly winners of the Lexus Pursuit of Excellence Award, Walker Wallace, Sully Beck, and Neil Dar. We had four nominations for the RTD Scholar Athlete of the Month, Walker Wallace, Neil Dar, Harry Farley, and Sully Beck. And we have one of the 10 finalists, Walker Wallace, for the Richmond Times Dispatch Scholar Athlete of the Year Award. The winner of that award will be announced later this evening at the RTD Scholar Athlete Banquet, currently underway. Walker, I hope you have one eye on that ceremony. Tonight, the seasons are finished and the answers are all in. I have been around for quite a while now and I can safely say that I haven't seen many classes, if any, not only with so much physical talent, but also with so much character, personality, ability to lead, enthusiasm, and spirit. At last year's banquet, after saying farewell to the senior class of 2019, I said this to you, the class of 2020. We are excited to watch you create, mold, and solve next year's mystery. We never know what to expect, but the possibilities are infinite, the potential is obvious, and we are all full of hope. Well, you were successful in showing us what is possible. You were successful in playing to your full potential, and we are forever grateful for the hope you have given us for the future. Thank you, seniors. We are all so proud. Seniors. Thank you, boys. Now to the Director's Cup announcement that many of you have been asking about. It is my honor to report that for the fifth year in a row and for the eighth time in the last 10 years 
St. Christopher's School is the proud winner of the Virginia Prep League Directors Cup. Congratulations, seniors. Good job, guys. Good work, boys. Good job, guys. This year's senior class is only the third in the school's history to win the Directors Cup each of their four years in the upper school. Truly an amazing accomplishment. Let's begin this evening's celebration with the team awards led by Andy Teibel and Stephen Lewis. Coach Teibel. Thank you, Coach O'Farrell. Uh, we will begin the team awards with cross country and the Burelin Distance Running Award presented by head coach John Green. This award was established in 1993 by the family of Wyndham Caton Burelin and is presented annually to that member of the cross country team who has excelled and shown a dedication to running by his positive attitude, joy in practice and competition, self-motivation and team loyalty. Coach Green. This year's recipient of the Burelin Distance Running Award goes to Sully Beck. Congratulations, Sully. Hey. Yay, hey, Sully. Sully. Thank you. Awesome. Way to go, Sully. The Hugh Brenneman Football Award. presented by head coach Lance Cleland. The Brenneman Football Award was founded in 1971. The recipient is selected for his devotion to and love of the game, his loyalty to the coaches and his fellow players, his sportsmanlike conduct, and his perseverance in the face of adversity. Coach Cleland? I got, I got him right here because he's having trouble logging on, but this year's award winner is Hayden Forrest. <laughs> oh, bro. Hey. 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 All right. Hey. 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 I didn't want you to miss it. <laughs> That's great stuff. The Anna P. Goodale Soccer Award, presented by head coach Jay Wood. The award, established in 1972 by the Fairfield Goodale family in honor of Dr. Goodale's mother, Mrs. Anna P. Goodale, is presented to that senior member of the squad who has, by example, fostered a spirit of sportsmanship, a devotion to team play, and a dedication to the game of soccer. Coach Wood? Uh-oh. Coach Wood here. Andy, I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and read it. You want me to read That'd it out? Great. That'd sure. be great. The recipients of the Anna P. Goodale Soccer Award 2020, Warner Collier and Wheat O'Hagan. Warner, good job, Wheat. Yeah, boy. All right, I will continue with basketball and Coach O'Farrell. If you can make me a co host, that would be great. I had to log off and got that knocked off for me, so if you can do that, I would appreciate it. The James W. Prophet Basketball Award presented by Coach Hamill Jones. This award was established in 1974 in memory of Dr. James W. Prophet by his associates and friends, and is presented annually to that senior member of the basketball squad who has demonstrated a strong dedication to the game, a spirit of competitiveness, and a willingness to do his best at all times, particularly in times of stress. Coach Jones. This year's recipients are the dynamic duo of Gil Williamson and Walker Gilly Wallace. Gilly 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 Gilly
is due in large part to our coaches and athletes commitment to the strength and conditioning program. The award is presented to a senior athlete who through his unselfish dedication, commitment and positive influence has had the most significant impact on the St. Christopher strength program. This year's recipients, Hank Filer and Hayden Forrest. Congrats. Good job, Hank. Good job, Hayden. Congratulations, guys. Good work. Good work. Good Easy. Work. Thank you. Good work, boys. Inspired by the efforts of the sports information team, the Voice of the Saints Award was established four years ago by the family of a former St. Christopher's athlete. The award recognizes the entire sports information department's valuable contribution to Saints athletics. The silver microphone bears the recipient's name and will remain on display in the Kemper Athletic Center. Coach Lewis will now present the award to that member of the sports information team who has, through dedication, preparation, and a passion for his craft, done the most to support his peers in action and present a positive image of Saints athletics. Coach Lewis. This year's Voice of the Saints Award recipients are Joe Brennan and William McDermott. William, Jeff, Joe. Hey. Good you guys. Good hey, job, William. Well done. Great year. Our team captains this year were, by all accounts, effective leaders and excellent ambassadors for St. Christopher's School. We are grateful to these young men for their service to their team and the community. The presentation of a captain's cup is a time-honored tradition. It is not only meant to recognize the captain's efforts, but also to provide each with a lifelong reminder of its connection to St. Christopher's athletics. I will now read the names of all of our 2019-2020 captains this year. Cross country, Sully Beck, Hank Valentine. Football, Caleb Bay, Hank Filer, Hayden Forrest, Jeff Moore, Will Taswell, Walker Wallace. Soccer, Eli Bemis, Gerard Broussard, Warner Collier, Wheat O'Hagan. Basketball, Walker Wallace, Gil Williamson. Futsal, Gerard Broussard, Warner Collier, Wheat O'Hagan. Indoor track, Mia Alvelea, Ian Smith, William Toon. Squash, Vaden Paget, Chris Schroeder. Swimming and diving, Gray Broadus, Harry Farley, Russell Richards, Miles West. Wrestling, Loudon Hurt, Jamison Knotts. Baseball, Griffin O'Farrell. Golf, Taylor Jefferson, Chris Schroeder. Lacrosse, Cole McCoy, Will Taswell, Walker Wallace. Outdoor track, Mian Avelea, Ian Smith, Hank Valentine. Tennis, Eli Bemis, Alistair Burke, and Joe Parker. Ladies and gentlemen, our 2019-2020 captains, congratulations. Good job, boys. Gentlemen. While the accomplishments of the athletic program are attributed to the dedication and commitment from all of our student athletes and coaches, the following seniors have gone above and beyond by participating in 10 or more sports during their high school career here at St. Christopher's. Participating in 10 sports during his entire high school career were Nick Armfield, Colby Ballou, Jack Edmonds, Zach Kersner, Jack Sievers, David Smith, and Will Taswell. Participating in 11 sports during his entire high school career were Gray Broadus, Howell Harrison, Jeff Moore, Weed O'Hagan, Vaden Paget, Chris Schroeder, and Gil Williamson. 
The coaches would like to express their appreciation by presenting the coaches award to the seniors who participated in three sports during his entire high school career. 12 in all, Mian Avell A, Sully Beck, Neil Dar, Hank Filer, Austin Ford, George Hodgson, Cole McCoy, Ian Smith, Chad Steinbrugge, William Toon, Hank Valentine, Walker Wallace, and Johnny Whitlock. Congratulations. Wow. Boys, stop George. Mr. Jump will now present the Major Athletic Department Awards. Thank you. The next 10 awards represent the highest honors bestowed by the St. Christopher's Athletic Department. The St. Christopher's Monogram Award is presented to that student who has earned the most varsity monograms during his years at the school. The recipients, Neil Dar, Ian Smith, and Hank Valentine. Guys, good work. Congratulations. Good work. Great job. Ready to go, Hank? The Robert Williams Herzog Award was established in 1990 by the school in honor of Mr. Robert Williams Herzog, director of athletics and founder of the Virginia Preparatory League. He also served as associate headmaster and my predecessor as director of guidance during his 28-year tenure. It was Mr. Herzog who chose the Virginia Preparatory League motto, excellence, diversity, participation. The award is presented to that senior who best reflects the motto of the Prep League, both as a scholar and as an athlete. The recipient, Garnet Nelson. Yeah, I'm Garnet. I'm Garnet. Nice. Good job. Cool, Garnet. Bob Garnet. There you go, Garnet. The James Turner Sloan II Class of 1940 Award is presented annually to that senior who has demonstrated that no challenge is too great and no obstacle insurmountable. The recipients, Mian Avelea, Jameson Knotts, David Smith. All right. Great job, guys. Right, guys. Congratulations. Woo! The Bradford Allen Parish Class of 91 Award is presented annually to that student who has done the most to encourage the younger members of his own team and support the efforts of players on all teams. The recipients, Harry Farley and William Toon. What's up, boy? Little Toon Squad. Harry. Yes. Harry. I'm Harry. Guys. Yeah, I'm Harry. Yeah, William. Hey. Oh, William. <laughs> The Talmadge Abbott Dupriest Class of 91 Award was established in 1995 by Rand McLean Dupriest Class of 89 in memory of his brother, a two-sport captain during his years at the school. It is awarded annually to that team captain who exhibits exemplary leadership qualities, total devotion to his team members, and an unselfish and unyielding determination to encourage successful competition and outstanding sportsmanship from his teammates. The recipients, Sully Beck and Cole McCoy. Guys, The Nelson Hill Hotchkiss Junior Class of 70 Award is presented to that senior who has demonstrated an earnest devotion to athletics in an honest and truly modest manner, and who has displayed a genuine feeling for team play and sportsmanship. The recipient, Gil Williamson. Gil, there you go, Gil. Gil the thrill. Congrats. Gil the thrill. <laughs> <laughs> the Athletic Director's Award for Competitive Excellence is presented by the Athletic Department to senior athlete in recognition of outstanding performance, love of athletic competition, and commitment to excellence. The recipients. Alistair Burke, Gerard Broussard, Jeff Moore, Ian Smith, 
and Miles West. Oh, boys. Congratulations, Good job, guys. Um, the John T. Siegel Class of 57 Memorial Prize, founded in 2003, was established by friends and colleagues to honor John T. Siegel's dedication to excellence and his commitment to St. Christopher's School. This award is presented to a senior boy who by his actions both on and off the athletic fields inspires others with the attributes exemplified by Mr. Siegel throughout his life. Loyalty, character, integrity, and gentlemanly conduct. The recipient, Caleb Bay. Caleb, Brent, Caleb. Hey, Caleb. Hey, Caleb. Well done. The Slater Prize for Best Spirit in Athletics is given annually to that boy on the varsity squad who, throughout his connection with the school, has most consistently exhibited on the athletic field a spirit of courage, determination, perseverance, and cooperation. The recipient, Will Taswell. All right, Taz. Congratulations, Taz. Well, we got a Taz. The Davenport Trophy is presented each year to that member of the graduating class who has been awarded the distinction first in athletics because of his diligence, conscientiousness, dependability, courage, self-control, courtesy, and honor exhibited in athletic sports and contests during his years at St. Christopher's. The recipient, Walker Wallace. Walker. Walker. Yeah, Walker. Finally, to all of the student athletes in the room, it is important to remember that while not everyone was brought to the front virtually, for an award tonight. This night is undoubtedly in celebration of all of you. I cannot stress enough the fact that no one person or small group could have accomplished any of this on his own and every player on every team played a role in the challenges overcome and the successes enjoyed throughout the year. This exceptional group of seniors is now passing the torch to our juniors with the full expectation that they and we will build upon what the class of 2020 has helped create. I know the class of 2021 will embrace this opportunity with passion and purpose. Will everyone please join me one more time in thanking and congratulating all of our seniors for an amazing year in athletics. Thank you guys. Good job guys. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Okay, so in keeping with tradition, please enjoy this highlight video put together by Stephen Lewis and his sports media team, even on Zoom. Coach Lewis. Thank you, Coach O'Farrell. If, if this is grainy at all or skips or anything, don't worry, I will put it up on YouTube tonight so you can look at it as many times as you wish. Rage on the beat, going crazy. Welcome to Noel Steel. Welcome to Noel Steel. Take us under way right here. Short kick. Ready by Hodge. He's going to bust this one loose. He's freaking out the sideline. Got the sideline. The opening kickoff for Hodge and runs it back for 70 yards. Let's go. Let's go. Shot on roll. Save. Good up. Good Collier hits in. The Saints take the lead in the seventh minute early on here. Another opportunity for Rashard. Scores for the Saints. That's the fourth goal. Rashard gets the Saints on the board. Yeah, it's 
Saints going the other way. They need this. That's great point. Lob the Williamson. Oh, he Looks like that's going to be a pick. Can he keep him down? Brooker on top. Holding down Lambert. That's going to be a pin. Six points for the Saints. So that is how exactly how the Saints needed to start out here today. And Minoli puts the nail in the coffin. Safe, sweet. Oh, you're going to out. There's Hale again. Another fast break. Broussard is through and it's good. Wow. Oh my lord! <laughs> Williamson with an X yeah. one! Williams, I gotta get the names out so quick that I can't even watch it because they're going so fast. Miles West trying to make that money, showing what he's got, coming down to the wire. Miles West takes it home. 2181. It's a special drink. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for everything you on fourth down. Pressure rolling out over the middle. Intercepted. Huge play back for it. Now we're trying to move us back to stay alive. And that's going to be another pin. It's Eric Rogge making a name for himself on the national level. Top. And finds Wallace. The wind goes off left. Looks for Wallace. And Wallace brings it in one handed into the end zone. This is Williamson airing it deep to Wallace. And it's brought into the back so of the end zone. Walker Wallace's is third touchdown of the day. Good ball played in the box. And that one actually goes in. Saints are able to score off the post. Off the post. Broussard. Did that go in? And it will. <laughs> That's how I. As... But who would to pop it? Green. Splash. That's an incredible catch. That is what the best one I've ever seen. Really impressive. I'm really proud of all the guys. It was a lot of fun. It was probably the best one game I've ever played in my life. Class of 2020. Thank you. Thanks for the memories. All of them. Go Saints. Thank you, Coach Lou. Fantastic. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, guys. Lou. Thanks, Coach Lewis. Thank you, y'all. Okay, one quick housekeeping note before we finish. Uh, all awards, plaques, and captain's cups will be delivered to the recipient's home over the next few weeks. Please be on the lookout for that. Uh, we all look forward to celebrating this class again tomorrow evening at the Senior Chapel and, of course, over the next couple of days at the conferring of diplomas. Uh, I guess we pulled this off. This is the first athletic, hopefully the last athletic banquet on, uh, on Zoom. I hope we uh, did you guys proud. You, you've earned it. Uh, and it is now with bittersweet excitement that I announce the conclusion of the 2020 St. Christopher's Athletic Banquet. Well done and God bless. Thank you and good night. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sorry.